So we got a scenario where we need to do an L-shaped carpet gripper metal in the entryway of a house. And how do you go ahead and line these up to go ahead and make that 45 look phenomenal? In this video, I'm going to break it down for you. So what's good? It's Carpet Mike here from CarpetExpertBlueprint.com. We are in a nice little trap house down in some college housing type joint. And we are doing gripper metals right on this brand new carpet. Now let's not talk about this super ugly foyer that totally needs to be replaced, but we're just keeping that in place no big deal all right so first things first we need to lob this metal down to a manageable section so we could go ahead and know what we're working with and lining these up so we're gonna go ahead and cut that down get that piece out of the way now we're gonna spin it around now it's time to get our angles just right so i want to line it up first where it needed to hit and i'm going to figure out at what point do i want the other metal to intersect and line up with this one let's get you a close-up on this here so all right, check this out. We got it figured out. We're good. Let me get you on the video there. Now, some people might say use a miter box. No, we're not about that. We're about just eyeballing it up, cutting it real good. So we're going to cut a little triangle out of this one. You see what I'm doing there? I'm trying to keep the camera angle up there for you. Now I'm going to lob this section off here just to get that out of the way because that's just some excess nonsense. I'm going to go ahead and work that little chunk off. Okay, everything's good. Now we need to get some nails. We're going to go ahead and just secure this one end so that it doesn't move on us when we go to cut the other metal that's going to line up to it and get that nice 45 in place. So let's go ahead and grab a couple nails there. Any nail that will grab into a wood floor will do just fine. So we're actually going to use some nails from a flat metal here because we're about that life. You know what I'm saying? It's close by. We don't need to grab the actual roofing nails or drywall nails. Just use some flat metal nails and slap them on down. Get a couple more in there. I want to work myself over to the edge. Not the easiest task always because you got the carpet in the way a little bit. You don't want to cut the carpet back too far because then you may do something that just going to create an issue later. So just work with what you got. Take your time. Cut it back slowly. Here's where it all counts. So get you another angle here. We're going to get our next metal and we're going to go ahead and clip this one. We're going to take a little triangle out of this one. Look at me sneaking a peek to make sure I did it right on the other one there. Yeah, never all the way good. Always double check your work. All right, anyway, taking a little triangle out of this one now. And then when these two butt up and we tap it down, it's going to line up oh so perfectly. But let's go ahead and get that little tap tap just so this one will overlay on it just the slightest bit. All right, that's lined up now. We're going to go ahead and get that exactly where we need it and same exact scenario. We're going to go ahead and throw a couple nails in the end over here just to make sure it holds in place and doesn't move on us. And then once that's secured, we could go ahead and put all this together, stretch the carpet in, tap it down and grab our check, the most important part. So let's go ahead and blow right through this here because now it's showtime. Everything's lined up. We're going to finish putting nails in all the way across. Boom, boom. Let's get the kicker. Tap it up. Crease it on. Take your knife. Cut it down. Go ahead and tuck it in. Working it all the way across. Boom, boom, boom. Smack it with a hammer a couple times. Then we do the other side. Clack it, clack. Smash it down with a hammer. And bam. That's how you do that. Comment below with any questions.